time from the Merkur Spiel Arena in Dusseldorf. Albania nil, Spain won. And full time in the other game at the Red Bull Arena, Croatia won, Italy won. Another group is completed. So, uh, yeah, of course, Group A obviously did end last night. Um, Germany and Switzerland going through. Hungary potentially could go through, depending on all the other teams that, that are around that could finish third. And, of course, for Scotland, they are out. And, of course, Group B is now complete. Obviously, Spain, they already went through. Um, of course, Italy are going through. Heartbreak for Croatia. They are out after conceding in the last second of the game. And, of course, Albania finishing rock, bo rock bottom. And they will be going home. But yeah, anyway, let's start with the Albania game, of course. A 1-0 win for Spain, of course. Didn't really mean a lot for them, of course. They were already through um, after their win on match day two against Italy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I did have the game on in the background. I mean, I, was, I, was, I had the Croatia game on the telly, which I was more watching, to be honest. I mean... I, I, I mean, when nothing was really going on in the Croatia game, I was just having a little peek at the, at the um, Albania game and see what was going on. But from what I saw in the first half um, in that Spain game, Spain looked like they played really well um, in that first half. They had a lot of the ball and just kind of frustrated Albania, I guess. Obviously, the goal was um, from Ferran Torres. Um, it was a good finish, to be fair. Um, lovely ball from, I can't remember who it was, but it was a lovely pass and obviously good finish from Ferran Torres to make it 1-0 to Spain. I think that was what the goal was like. I might be getting mixed up with a goal in the Croatia game. I think it was in that Spain game. I don't know. Um, but yeah, but overall, it was a good finish from Ferran Torres. I mean, just just a frustrate, frustrating first half for Albania, to be honest. I mean, going forward, they weren't great either, Albania, to be honest, in Spain. I mean, to be fair to Spain, I, they've probably been up there as one of the one of the teams I've been most impressed with so far this tournament, obviously Spain, they will be, I'm not sure who they're playing, obviously, because they came top of their group. I mean, that, I mean, the first official game in the round of 16 has actually now officially been confirmed and it will be Switzerland versus Italy, which I think could be a good game, to be fair. Obviously, I will speak about Italy in a minute, but obviously Spain, top of the group in Group B. And if I just click on this i mean it's going to take ages to load because of i don't know why but the internet's just really slow so 1b so spain will be playing third in group a or d so they will be playing hungary so they'll either play hungary netherlands france or austria probably not france because obviously they're playing against poland tomorrow and let's be honest poland they're probably going to get well we're probably just going to get battered so it's either going to be Hungary, Netherlands or Austria for Spain. I mean, for Spain's point of view, they would probably want Austria, um, Hungary even, to be honest. So, in my opinion, but yeah. But yeah, I mean, second half, though, I thought going forward, Albania were a lot better. You know, they created some good chances, made David Raya a bit busy in that second half. But, I mean, they, they had some big chances, Albania. And obviously, when Croatia um, went... 1-0 up. When Croatia went 1-0 up, that really did put pressure on Albania because they needed to score two goals to get back in contention. Obviously, they needed... I mean, to be fair, if Croatia would have won 1-0 and Albania would have won 2-1, it, it would be Italy who would be going home. But obviously, that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, but for me, man of the match in the Spain game, I'm going to give it to Danny Olmo. I mean, looking at his stats in the game, looks like he had a very good game. I mean, this, this was... Almost stats in the game. Obviously, he played 84 minutes, um, four total shots, 29 um, accurate passes, 83 pass success, three um, chances created. Um, I mean, just look at these stats. I mean, these stats are quite good. Um, accurate passes, eight passes in his own half, 21 in the opposition half, um, 35 passes, 83 pass successes. Long balls, five. Accurate long balls, five. 54 touches. And obviously, he won, he, he won seven duels, one clearance. 
So overall, he had a very, very good game, Danny Olmo. But, uh, yeah, of course, Wales into Spain. Of course, they will play whoever come, or either Hungary, um, France, Netherlands or Austria. So, uh, yeah, of course, commiserations to Albania, but they are going home. And before, um, to be fair, before I do go on to the Croatia game, to be fair to Albania, they actually did give an effort in all three of the games. So I think they can go home with their heads held high because I thought Albania played really well in all three of the games to be honest. But anyway, let's move on to the next game um, in the other group, which was 1-1 in Leipzig between Croatia and Italy. And to be honest, this was, I mean, the end of the game was just absolutely mad. Overall, I thought it was an even game. I thought Croatia played well, Italy played well. First off, I mean, Italy, I thought attackingly, I thought attackingly Italy were were well, good in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's mo mo some some t some points going forward, Italy were just a bit wasteful in giving the ball away, um, and then there were some points in the game where Italy created some good chances going forward in that first half. Croatia weren't really as good. I mean, Croatia they weren't really as good going forward, but there was the the odd you know good chance in that first half for Croatia. Second half, Croatia were a bit bad going forward. In my opinion, um, but yeah, then obviously Croatia they did win a penalty, clear handball from Jorginho, I think, um, who stuck his arm out. Obviously, Croatia won a penalty. Modric took the penalty. It was saved by John Aruma, and then literally a minute later, um, Croatia had taken the lead from Luka Modric, and that's a big goal for Croatia because at the time. When Croatia went one 0 up, that goal was actually putting Croatia above Italy. I was putting Croatia that was that goal put Croatia second, and that would put Croatia in second automatically through, and Italy in third, and then Italy would most likely go through as one of the third placed teams. Um, but yeah, but, but then to be fair, Croatia they just parked the bus. They parked the bus for the rest of the game. It was probably all Italy dominance for the. The last half an hour of the game because they knew they needed to score um, to go through in second. Because I mean, Italy. I mean, where for Croatia would have won the game one nil. Italy probably would have gone through in third anyway. Um, but you never know because it depends how on how all the other teams um, who finished third, who, who like, the teams that could finish third um, in all the, in all the other groups get on. But then I mean, like I said, just Italian dominance for the last half an hour. And then Croatia, they they were near there. They were like a few seconds away from going through. But then the last kick of the game, Matteo Zaccagni scoring an absolute screamer, making it 1-1. Scenes from Italy, an absolute heartbreak for Croatia because that means now, I mean, Croatia, they can still go through um, in third, but it is very unlikely due to the amount of points they have. I mean, you probably need around three, four points. I mean, if you get three points, I think it just depends on your goal difference. Um, you know, your goal difference, your goal scored and that. But two points, it probably isn't going to be enough. So Croatia looks like they are going home. And just absolute heartbreak, man. Because the Croatia, they were so close. They were so, so close. And then Sakanyi stabbing the dagger in Croatia's heart and sending them home, which is absolute heartbreak, man. It is pure heartbreak. Um, but, yeah, but overall, it was a really, really good game, to be honest. I mean, man of the match, Ricardo Calafuri, for me, I thought he had a really, really good game, um, in my opinion. I mean, defensively, I thought Italy were actually quite good, to be fair. Bastoni was good. Donnarumma was decent. Obviously, said the penalty from more change than literally a few seconds later. Obviously, much went and scored. But for me, you know, Calafuri actually got the assist for Sakanyu's goal. And overall, I thought he had a very, very good game. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Smash the like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for the final games in Group C and Group D. And speaking of Group C, that's England's group. And England, um, we are actually now through to the last 16. So whether we finish first, second, or third, England are going through. That's great stuff. Um, Netherlands are also through as well. And so are France. So it doesn't matter if France or Netherlands finish third. Because they will be going through as one of the best third teams. Anyway, I'm going to end the video now. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.